Well, tonight, Richland County Council met to discuss some big economic developments and deals in the making. News 19's Peyton Lewis has the latest on what the county is working on. Entertain a motion. So moved. Second. second. That's moved to properly second. Madam Clerk, take the vote, please. In a special called meeting on Tuesday, Richland County Council decided to move forward with some pretty big projects for the area, including an expansion for a large brewing company called Mark Anthony Brewing. This company is based out of Chicago and brews drinks for White Claw, Mike's Hard, and Mixed Cocktails. The company already has a facility off Shop Road, and the agreement with Richland County would allow them to expand. Some 40 new jobs with an average of about $90,000 per job, and the committee recommendations for approval, so that could include A and B, Mr. Chair. The expansion of the facility and the existing agreement with the Mark Anthony Brewing Company is supposed to bring more than $400 million to Richland. And the other big step for the county was the second reading of the sale of a property to Allen University. It's authorizing a deed to Allen University for 1741 Cushman Drive, Columbia, South Carolina. Richland County could not confirm what the purchase will bring to the property, but Allen University student Isaiah Milhouse says he's hoping it's an athletic complex. One, I know one of the main attractions that they really recruit here is really football, and we're just getting into D2, so we're trying to be really more competitive. So I would say football, um, a lot, you know, this is the U.S., a lot of people love football. Um, a football stadium, and we, me currently, and I'm a little biased because I'm on the track team, I would rather also like to have a um, track and field complex combined with the football field. News 19 has reached out to Allen University and is waiting to hear back about what this space will be. Reporting in Columbia, Peyton Lewis, News 19 WLTX. Richland County leaders also discussed Project Foundation, which will bring 40 jobs and $10 million to the area. This development has not been unveiled yet, but will be at a future meeting.